Well, welcome back again today. Um, should be a quick video for you guys. I just want to run over one thing with you. As you can see, I've been working on it. A little piecemeal 67 Belvedere. And, well, there's a spot on the roof there. I actually wanted to show you what I was talking about. Is, uh, bring you back here. Remember I said before about... Any bad paint you've got, like this was cracking underneath. I don't know if it was in the repaint or if it was in the original paint. You can see the layers this thing had, which was, here's my primer, a blue that I went over. I think that was their primer. And then the factory color and primers, I guess. But it had, this isn't rust. This is actually that rust colored primer or whatever you want to call it. But you got to sand this down. You see down in here. Now I had scuffed this over real quick just to spray it before. And ugh, I didn't get it completely down. Like I said, the weather was turning on me and I had a lot of bare steel, kind of like you see right now, and a couple spots on the roof too. So I just had to just quick shoot it. This was actually sprayed outside, like I told you. Well, now I do it right and uh, get the color on it. I've had to take not so far about 90% of the paint off the roof just to get them pock marks and stuff out of the paint. Because it doesn't matter if I build primer or not, you're not going to fill that in and not see it without a lot of sanding. So, slow progress. I have a couple hours into it just to get that's so much down i don't want to just hit it with the 80 or something rougher there and just really scratch the hell out of it so kind of been going slow with it i mean i have been hitting it with the 80 but i've been watching it with the layers there and as i get down the layers and i switch over to i think that's 220 that i got and, and whatnot that way i don't gouge it out too bad <coughs> um makes me remember why I hate painting and well I don't mind it but I'm not a body guy it takes me probably 20 times longer than it'll take somebody else that's does it for a living you know and first couple cars I painted are kind of the same way um I found some pictures I'm gonna shoot them on in here in the video I'm gonna try to anyway it was a, you know, 07, 07, 08. It was a Scion TC. I always wanted a Scion. I don't know why. I like the stupid things. Found one. It was rolled over. And just, I don't know, just see if I could fix it. So I straightened the roof out. It was, that was the glass roof. I don't know if you all remember that. And painted the whole car. And a garage a lot smaller than this when I was still renting. And it turned out all right. I don't think it was too bad. I did that at a single stage. And factory color, so I didn't have to worry about the door jams or anything. I think I did the jam on this side just because of the work I had to do with the roof line there. And it was behind the door. But everything was cool. Got that one done. I said, man. Without the proper equipment, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. Why well, don't want to do it again? So you think I would have learned my lesson? Nope. And I got that Mustang. I don't know what that was. 88, 89, 91, 92 GT. I think it was a 91 or a 92. I think it was a 92. It was a GT 5.0. Well, somebody spray bombed it blue. And... They did a horrible job on the spray bomb. They did it thick, though. It was thick. They had a whole lot of layers on that bad boy. Well, I had to strip that completely down. Stripped it down. Figured out it was actually a... It was a blue and silver. It was a dark blue, midnight blue or something. I forget. And silver at the bottom. Well, I made like 400 some in that year in that color combination. So it was a shame they ended up spray bombing it, but they did. They ruined it. 
So I stripped that completely down, sanding and lacquer thinner and acetone and everything else. Got that all off. And I resprayed it. It was a candy orange or a candy red. I don't know. Fire mist. Fire mist. Is that what it was? Like a, a fire mist red, something like that. I don't know. It looked decent. And that was two stage. That was base coat clear, base coat, clear coat. And I'll chip in the pictures here. That didn't turn out too bad. That was all right. And I did that right on the other side over here. Had the car sitting sideways. The satellite was in there. And now the bike's in there, though. I had them over on the other side. But I had the car sitting sideways just so I could open up the doors, so I could do the jams and get underneath the hood and everything else underneath the deck lid and whatnot. And it turned out all right. And then didn't really use the car. I'm not a huge Ford fan. Kind of wish I kept it, but it is what it is. Sold that and then told myself once again, man, without the proper equipment, do not paint vehicles in the barn here. As you can see with the Belvedere here, I have not learned a lesson yet, so we're doing it again. After I sprayed this outside, told myself, man, don't do this. Somebody, you know, pay it, save up, pay somebody to spray it. Now, I'm going to do it myself. So, that's all I wanted to bring you today. Um, an arduous process. Arduous? Something like that? I think that's right. Well, either way, it is what it is. Take your time. Gotta go over every nook and cranny. Like I said, I gotta get the roof completely down. I got 90% of it off. And just came home from work today. Got dinner in now. That's gonna be a little bit. So it gives me some time out here. I'll work on getting more of this down and smoothing it out. Because when you get through one layer, two layers, three, four, whatever however many layers this has. And you get down to bare steel, you got to go farther with it. Kind of either got to do the whole thing or bare steel or be super, super lucky on feathering the edge because otherwise you're going to see it all underneath the primer and then your base coat. So take your time. Remember, get those imperfections out. And I still got a whole bunch more to do. The drip rail here. I got this whole side mostly done. Still got to do that side, finish the roof, do that side, do the engine bay, and then do inside the doors, inside the trunk lid, and the hood's on the air side. I got to get that done, so. Got way too much work cut out for me. Farmer. It's pretty toasty out here. It's humid. Which means my compressor's going to want to be spitting some water. I don't have it on yet. Oh, and the other thing I got to fix today, I pulled up the garage door and, well, the cable that, well, the rope that I did not put on, somebody else put on, with some worm clamps, that's pretty custom right there, has failed on me. I slung the door up and I always grab the cable to limit how far the door goes up, because it's probably a good 12 foot door or whatever, and it came off. So now I guess I'm going to have to get up there on the next level and push the door partially down and fix that and put a better rope on it. So, Oh, hope you got something out of this video and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Give a like, subscribe, share, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.